Is that um, rear brake master cylinder I took out of the bike the other day. What we'll do is we're going to uh, give it an overhaul. Put some new seals and springs and stuff in it. Yeah. The brakes on that bike were a bit spongy and I think it was down to the, um, the, the shitty fluid that was in there. But anyway, I'll show you how to, how to change the uh, seals, how easy it is to change the, the seals in one of these. Uh, probably the hardest part is getting this little rubber washer over the, the plunger. Right, let's take it apart. Getting pretty corroded in there looking at that. Some rubber boots did alright there. So, circle clip in there you need to take out. Here it is. Tricky. Go in there. Hold the top because it might just all spring out. If, if. Yeah, I'm gonna put a new one of them in so we don't need that. Right. There you can see the. Just give that a quick wipe. There's a this little rubber seal here. That's what's in there facing down, so just twist that around and wick it out. Once you've got it on its side, it should just pretty much come out. There you go. And there's your spring. Right, and that's it. That's all the all the components to it. Side, what I'll do is I'll just give this a with a small, small bottle brush. I'll just give that a quick clean up. Yeah, I'll just use one of these things just to, just to run it around. If there's anything in there, and then just give it a quick blast, quick blast out. <laughs> Fucking plain again. Yeah, just clean it all out. It's all nice and clean inside. You can see that. Then we get our new plunger. And then we need to put this thing on, on in there, on there. So we've got to stretch it, stretch it over this part here. It's not easy. But okay, it's doable. Not the easiest job in the world. It's got to be a nice fit there. It's probably the oldest part of the job, that is, just doing that. And there it is. You've got your, your, like your secondary seal kind of thing on there. And Now, right, you got your spring. Spring will go in first. But if you put your it goes on something like this, it's in that order. 
It's a spring. That plunger has got going there. Seal, sorry. Like so, just keep it freezing. And the other one, there you go. There you got your, now you got to roll that down and put him in. And get your new circlip. Oh, yeah, hold on a second. So you put your new circlip in. You always need about three pairs of hands doing this shit now. Are we in? Are we in? There yeah, we're in. And that's it. And that's it. You have your new refurbed rear master cylinder. You know, I don't want that all gunging up. And we've got some ultra ultra disc brake lube. Right, I'm going to stick. So sh I'm just going to stick that, some of that, in there. And I'll just keep that greased up inside there, really. I guess we don't want. Yeah, I've used, don't I? I can use this can, don't I? Yeah, just add a bit of lube in there. Give it some lube. And then put a cover back on. And that's it. That is it. You've now got a reconditioned. Just clean it out. A reconditioned. Rear brake master cylinder ready for the next build. <laughs> Here's the uh, the cam chain tensioner from a 650 XS. The way this cam chain tensioner works is basically you have it put together like so so that presses up against your cam chain or attachment that presses up against your cam chain and when you tighten it up when you tighten this bolt in that basically tightens that spring up until you get to the certain a certain place where That inner rod is flush, is flush with the uh, the adjuster. If that comes through, like so, then you have the copper washer missing on the inside. Because that copper washer is like it's the right thickness and spacing to bring that flush with the end of the cam tain ten tensioner. So. Like I say, if you've got it, if you can see, if you can see it, if it goes all the way through, then you know you got, you know, you know you've got the copper washer missing. So don't try it and tighten it to see that. If you tighten it up and it's and it's flush, leave it where it is. <clears throat> if you tighten it up and you can still see it coming through, you still can see it coming through. Then then you want to probably want to take it apart and, and find the washer, the right washer that goes in there because that washer, the space in that washer is exactly right for the spacing in that washer is exactly right for when, when, the, when the spring is fully compressed 
and that's up and that's level it's in the right place and you'll get no no tapping noise or louder when it was if the wash is missing <coughs> so yeah there you have it make sure you got the washer and you can't go wrong you can't go wrong in adjusting your cam chain thanks you guys for uh, leaving the comments and that it's nice reading the comments when I uh, when I see them coming through sometimes I can't reply to them straight away because I'm either out somewhere doing something or having to empty the dishwasher out or doing something you know <laughs> anyone else which is out there watching the videos yeah do, do leave some comments or if you <clears throat> not sure about leaving comments or anything like that just just give us a, a thumbs up on the video it helps us along I don't know the ins and outs really of YouTube videos and stuff but yeah again thanks for watching thanks for new subscribers and, and all you subscribers and uh, all my mates out there that leave in comments you know who you are and uh, I'll catch you on the next one